In this review, let's be honest with ourselves and just say that New Super Mario Bros. U has an awful rogues gallery. After games like New Super Mario Bros. Wii and New Super Mario Bros. 2, which did better with the Koopalings, seeing these released on a Wii U launch title is giving me 3D land flashbacks. However, one that broke the mold was Roy Koopa, a Koopaling that we're fighting in his unnecessarily giant crow's nest. His fight feels like a real glove-throwing duel since Roy's fight focuses on floating platforms and using his colossal cannon as a weapon. Of course, it only shoots slow-ass bullet bills, but at least he's doing something interesting, which is really all I expect from these short intermissions. I do give platformers some leeway on having shittier bosses because I don't expect Dark Souls-esque long, contemplative fights with multiple phases. You just have to do something different and slightly threatening to grab my attention, and Roy's got it. It helps a lot if you don't have that bullshit vulnerability when you knock down a Koopaling as well, since when Roy's done with his shell form, he just jumps back up and starts again with his tactic. The layered platforms make jumping on him more of a hurdle, and when everything's said and done, you weren't in any actual danger in this fight since Roy moves slowly along with his bullets, and he can't track Mario. He's just off doing his own thing, hoping that it'll work out at random. The constantly shifting arena and boss makes this fight more intense than usual, and it's a hectic bit of fun. And considering our difficult climb to get up to World 6, I'd say that makes the trek worth it. At least someone came in wanting to work this morning, Janice. <laughs>